Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, homework 3.3, 3.4, number 9. Right, so we're going to use a graphing calculator to um, find the solution. But uh, this question is talking about the uh, future value of annuity. So let's identify each, uh, each value. Right, so you have an annual payment. So this is right here is our payment, PMT. Right, an ordinary annuity at the end of five years. So t is equal to five, and uh, so five. So you can see this is t, but since it's a annual payment, so this t is actually the same as the number of payments. So n, right, and annuity is. Uh, so this is the future value. Right. Right. Then we're looking for uh, r which is the same thing as actually I in this case because your payment is uh, annually and the com interest is compounded annually. All right, so let's uh, plug those numbers in. So future value is 5,771.43 is equal to payment 1,000 times quantity 1 plus i raise it to the fifth power because n equals 5 minus 1 over i all right so i'm going to use i'll bring up a graphing calculator and um, i'm going to put the left hand side as y1 so in this case uh, 5000 771.43 right so this is y1 and then i'm going to put the right hand side as y2 so 1000 right left parenthesis another left parenthesis y a uh, one plus uh, x i use x instead of i and here is the right parenthesis, raise it to the fifth power. Then you subtract one. Right parenthesis, and then divide by i, but the way I use x instead. All right. Then we have to change the window size a little bit. I would go from uh, x min 0 to 0.1, and the y min would be uh, probably a little bit below 5,700. So I'm going to put the 5,770. And for um, Y max, I'll probably put 5,772, slightly larger than the value, right? Then uh, hit graph, right? So that's the uh, Y1. All right, now I can see the uh, Y2. So we look for the intersection. So second calc, All right, number five. All right, first uh, curve, enter. Second curve, enter. And the guess, enter. And it gives you that. So you can see that uh, intersection, we want to be around to two decimal places. So it's going to be 0 0.07. Actually, it's a percent, so it's going to be 718, right? So therefore, um, I value is I value is 0 0.07. I forgot what it was. 18718. Right, so this is a maybe I should say approximately that. So therefore, the interest rate is seven point one eight percent. Right, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this was clear.